Taylor, thank you for letting me audition tonight. It occurred to me that I hadn't done a monologue for you, so I'd like to do something to give you a sense of my facial expressions, projection, and stuff like that. So I'm going to do a little uh, mixture of people from The Phantom of the Opera, a little musical by Andrew Lloyd Webber and Tim Rice. Mystery after gala night, it says mystery of soprano's flight. Mystified battle to it, they say we are mystified, we suspect foul play. Bad news on soprano scene. First Carlotta, now Christine. Still, at least the seat gets old. Gossip's worth its weight in the gold. What a way to run our business. Spare me these unending trials. Half your cost disappears, yet the crowd still cheers. Ah, oh, ah, The hell with who can handle it. A scandal that'll pack them in the damnable. They all walk out. This is damnable. Andre, please don't shout. It's publicity, and the take is vast. Free publicity, but we have no cost. But Andre, have you seen the queue? Oh, it seems you got one, too. Yeah, Andre, what a charming gala. Christine enjoyed a great success. We were hardly bereft when Carlotta left. Otherwise, the chorus was entrancing, but the dancing was a lamentable mess. Dear Framan, just a brief reminder. My salary has not been paid. Send it care of the post by return of ghost PTO. No one likes a debtor, so it's better if my orders are obeyed. Who would have the gall to send this? Someone with a pure Albrine. These are both Sino G. Who the hell is he? <gasps> Opera ghost. It's really not amusing. He's abusing our position. In addition, he wants money. He's a funny sort of stacker to explain a lot of ten. I'm not in plainer here. Where is she? You mean Miss Carla? I mean Miss Dye. Where is she? What is it now? I have your letter. I take it that you sent me this note. What's all this nonsense? Of course not. No, no, no. You didn't send it. Of course not. Miss, you don't argue. Isn't this the letter you wrote? And what is it that we're meant to have wrote? Uh, written. Christine Dye has returned to you. Make no attempt to see her again. The angel of music has her under her wing. Well, if you didn't send it, who did? Where is he? Oh, welcome back, your precious patron. Where is he? What is it now? I have your letter. A letter which I rather resent. And did you send it? Of course not. As if he would, you didn't send it? Of course not. What's going on? You dare to tell me that this is not the letter you sent. And what is it that I'm meant to have sent? Your days at the Opera Populaire are numbered. Christine Dye will be performing on your plants tonight. Make no attempt to change this. Far too many notes for my taste, and most of them about Christine. All we've heard since we came is Miss Dye's name. Miss Dye has returned. I trust her midnight oil is well and truly burned. Where precisely is she now? I thought it best that she went home. She needed rest. Will she sing? Will she sing? Here I have a note. Let me see it! Please. And it goes on and on and on. So that's a little taste of me. Ah! I'll get a little closer do something a little more serious. This is uh, Tippi Hedren uh, on the... Uh, on the dunes with Rod Taylor in Hitchcock's The Birds. <clears throat> you see, Rome, that entire summer I did nothing but, well, it was very easy to get lost there. And so when I got back, I thought it was time I started, well, I don't know, finding something again. And so on Mondays and Wednesdays, I keep myself busy. Fridays? No, they're free. I sometimes go to bird shops on Fridays. Oh, yes. I have an Aunt Tessa. Do you have an Aunt Tessa? Mine is very prim and straight-laced. I'm buying her a minor bird. Minor birds talk, you know. Can you imagine the look on her face when this one tells her one or two of those four-letter words? 
You need a mother's care, my child. Not my mother's. Oh, I'm sorry. What have you got to be sorry about? My mother, don't waste your time. She ditched us when I was 11 and ran off with some hotel man in the East. Do you know what a mother's love is? Yes, I do. You mean it's better to be ditched? No, I think it's better to be loved. Don't you ever see her? I don't even know where she is. Well, perhaps I have to go join the other children. Where be these enemies, Capulets, Montagues? See what a scourge is laid upon your hate, that heaven finds means to kill your joys with love. And I, for winking at your discord, have lost a brace of kinsmen. All are punishing! For never was a story of more woe than that of Juliet and her Romeo. How do you do? All right, that little bit was from Shakespeare. Uh, thank you again very much. It was an honor to be under you. I've heard so much about your, your acumen. Thanks a lot. Thanks for considering me, and I'll see you around. Adios. and cut.